We are here on the scene of the deadliest terror attack in this city since 9-11. And to give you an idea of where we're standing tonight, take a look over my shoulder here. We are in the shadow of One World Trade. That, of course, was built on the site of Ground Zero. It gives you an idea of just how far the suspect got and how close to Ground Zero he came. And just moments ago here, the police commissioner taking us to the crime scene. The weapon, of course, a truck rented from Home Depot. Authorities say the suspect deliberately veering onto a path for bicyclists and pedestrians, speeding down the path. The commissioner telling me striking people for almost a mile. It lasted four minutes, the truck not stopping, until it smashed into a school bus. Along that path, eight people killed, including a mother visiting New York and five friends here for that high school reunion. The suspect running from the truck, a hero officer shooting him. Tonight, we now know the suspect, an immigrant from Uzbekistan who lived in several American cities. Authorities say he carefully planned this attack for Halloween. And the letter tonight discovered inside the truck. We begin here with ABC's Gio Benitez right here on the scene. Yeah, yeah. Stuck in here. Tonight, inside that horror following that deadly truck attack, a oh mangled school bus brought to a standstill in the oh middle of the road. Can you call 911? I got it. Oh my God. Um, oh my God. Okay. I, I, I need an ambulance right here. Right here. The, the guy T bone. Come on. There's kids right there. Firemen and police rush in, working frantically to get to the children inside. Just moments after, 29 year old Saifalo Sapoff crashed into it. Authorities say Sapoff had been planning the rampage for weeks, conducting prior reconnaissance of the very spot where he would drive onto that jogging path. Then, on the afternoon of Halloween, just after 2 p.m., renting a large truck at this Home Depot in Passaic, New Jersey. At 2.43 p.m., license plate readers that record every vehicle on the George Washington Bridge show him exiting the bridge into New York City. Minutes later, cameras outside of the Holland Tunnel show the truck swerving into the bike lane and mowing down pedestrians for nearly 20 blocks, almost a full mile. We got multiple casualties. This is a mass casualty situation here. Panicked witnesses saying there's a man waving a gun in the street, reportedly yelling in Arabic, Allahu Akbar. I was just frozen for a couple seconds, and then I saw him running towards a group of kids, and I just didn't know like if he was going to start shooting, where he was going to shoot. Police officers on a separate call race to the scene. They see Sapoff waving what we now know is a paintball gun and pellet gun. One officer shooting Sapoff in the abdomen. One of those officers, Brian Nash, um, takes action and fires his service weapon bringing the attack to an end. The suspect now on the ground detained. In the wake of the attack, crumpled bicycles, some trying to help the injured. The engine from that truck that caused so much destruction still smoking. And inside the truck, officers finding knives, more fake pistols, and a note that said ISIS will endure forever. Tonight, nine people are recovering in the hospital, one patient, a double amputee. All four patients with critical injuries are now stable. Authorities identifying the eight victims who did not survive. Two Americans, 32-year-old Darren Drake from New Jersey, his father describing him as the perfect son. I'm not even angry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not angry at all. I'm not hurt. And Nicholas Cleves, a 23-year-old software engineer who had just graduated from college. Five friends from Argentina visiting New York to celebrate their 30th anniversary of their high school graduation also lost their lives. And a mother of two from Belgium, her younger son, just three months old. And Gio Benitez joins us now live here in Lower Manhattan. And just moments ago, Gio, criminal charges filed against the driver. And now you've learned that in addition to that bike path, the suspect hoped for another target afterward? That's right, David. He's now facing federal terrorism charges. And if he hadn't crashed, investigators say he was set to target the Brooklyn Bridge. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.